Honey, there's 15, 20 things of positivity you could have pulled from last night. What stood mm-hmm. out for you as a kind of a number one or a 1A type of thing? Well, I mean, I think on a, on the biggest level, how effective they were with three centermen. Like, you know, they haven't had a lot of time to experiment with Ryan O'Reilly playing in the middle on a different line than John Tavares. And so you weren't quite sure how that would work. You certainly had no idea what Matthew Nye's, Ryan O'Reilly, and Noah Chari would do together. You know what they're like as players, but together you have no idea. And they were, um, like, very good in the game last night. Tilted the ice completely in the offensive zone all the time. Barely gave up any chances against. Everything you could have possibly hoped for. And that was such a unique look for the Leafs. They haven't really done that very often since Ryan O'Reilly's arrived. So, I guess the one singular standout thing to me, because it was the, maybe the greatest unknown, was that three centermen looked good. And it really sort of freed up everyone in exactly the way that you would have hoped. Well, it, it shouldn't be surprising that it did look good, considering who we're talking about here. Matthews, Tavares, O'Reilly. Like, those are three veterans, like big boys, who have carried teams individually in the past. Like, O'Reilly's, mm-hmm. you know, done it throughout his career Tavares has done it when he was in New York Matthews has done it up here I think what might be surprising though is the idea that Sheldon will commit to that now like how would you handicap the chances of this just being mm-hmm. consistent now because he's he it's just not the nature of who he is as a coach he pulls the blender out it seems like every shift every game he's got something new in mind how might it change now that they're on the road well, just off, first off, I mean, uh, Ryan O'Reilly had 19 points in 40 games in St. Louis this year, so I'm not sure that he was – I'm not positive at this point in his, in this year that he'd be able to drive a line. He's been really good in Toronto, so he's proven me wrong. And Tavares, what, he scored one goal in his last six weeks, one even strength goal, excuse me, in the last six weeks. Again, so, you, you know, you're not exactly positive, even though they've done it in the past, that it would work out as well as it did, and it did. What could change for Sheldon? I mean, I, I guess the real concern – and this is legitimate, is on the road, if Braden Point gets matched up against John Tavares, and that's too much for that line to handle, then you got to change. you got to change something, alignment, whether that pairs up O'Reilly Tavares, I don't know, but that will be the thing that will dictate the reaction of Sheldon Keith. And I'm sure he'll have many things in mind if it goes that way to try to negate that advantage because that's an advantage that Tampa will try to they try to get as much of in game three. Yeah, I could see that. And then even with that, let's say the line sticks together, the O'Reilly, Nyes, Achari line. Um, how does that look on the road? Like Nyes on the road. No uh, problem. What do you think Cooper's thinking at this point? No problem. I mean, you think about the, the, the mix on that line. You have O'Reilly and Achari, two physical, strong, veteran defensive players. And then you have Nyes and O'Reilly, two big puck possession hard to knock off offensive players and you blend them together and it worked pretty good. Like Matthew Nyes, as O would always, we like to joke, you know, to play defense in the NHL as a winger is not that challenging. The least defensive system is not that confusing, but if you just have your head in a swivel, keep your guy in front of you and there is no headman jumping past you anymore and no Chernak diving down. You have a different set of defense where you're dealing with. I think on the road should be no problem whatsoever as far as, him being taken advantage of by Tampa in some capacity. So, I mean, ideally, if Toronto could could get what they wanted in game three, roll the same four lines and get John Tavares out against Braden Point as little as possible. If they can do that, I think they take that matchup all day long. 